Shut up and sit down. Hi guys, welcome back. So, uh, a couple weeks ago I tried dragon fruit for the first time. And the reason it's called dragon fruit is because the fruit itself uh, looks like fire. It also kind of has the wavy lines uh, and the coloring of the, uh, the reddish Chinese dragons, which is really interesting. Um... Some people suggested that it looked like a dragon egg. I, I didn't think that it looked like dragon egg. But um, while I was shopping for fruit, I came across a fruit called a cherimoya. This guy right here. This guy looks like a dragon egg. And I thought, oh my god, I've got to eat it. So I picked it up. It's called a cherimoya from uh, Central and South America. Uh, the Incans. It's an Incan fruit, from what I understand. Um, now the meat of this is edible, but the skin and the seeds are very poisonous. So if you ever eat these, you want to be careful. So this is the cherimoya. I've never tried it. I never even heard about it until I ran across it in an Asian grocery store. So I'm going to give it a try. I had to research it to find out what is edible and what is not. And like I said, the seeds are very poisonous and the skin also not edible. But will you look at that? The skin looks like dragon scales. They look just like the eggs in Game of Thrones. I'm actually thinking this was the uh, the inspiration for the people who designed the eggs in Game of Thrones. It's it's just pretty awesome. So uh, it has a uh, grassy smell to it. Kind of smells like grass. They say that uh, when it's slightly soft to the touch, it's ripe. And it is. It feels like it's slightly spongy just on the surface, but it gets hard pretty quick. So I hope it's right. Um, they say you should be able to just pull it apart. Check that out. Interesting. So these guys, uh, very poisonous. You don't want to eat these, but they come out pretty easy. They don't uh, get stuck to the skin or to the to the meat or anything. So they're easy to pop right out. Uh, there's a couple more in here. A little bit more buried. I hope there's just one plane of seeds and then it's not all the way through. Let's find out. Very messy. Uh, yeah, there's a... Uh, you got to be careful. There's seeds all the way through it. And very poisonous. So, you don't want to eat the seeds. So, yeah, you don't want to eat these. If you live in a warmer area, you can always plant them if you like the fruit. If you don't like the fruit, uh, <laughs> I don't know what you're going to do with them. Uh, poisoning your neighbors, maybe. So, uh, I'm going to give it a try. I really can't describe the smell. It's not like anything I've ever smelled before. Here it goes. Mmm. It's sweet. Very fruity. You look at it, you don't expect it to be overly fruity. But it is. It's very good. It's very fruity. You know, I was at a fair once, and they had mango on a stick, and I tried mango for the first time. That was years ago. And this this tastes a lot like mango. It's full of seeds, though. That's one thing. Mango's not full of seeds. And the seeds that are in it, I don't believe, will kill you. Um, these guys, well, I don't know if they'll kill you, but they're supposed to be really poisonous, so... Whether they kill you or they just put you in the hospital. Not really worth it. Mm. That would be a seed. A lot of seeds in it. Very hard to get around them. Wow. Mm. It's uh, surprisingly good. You look at it, and you, you, it's a little scary looking. Looks like a dragon egg. It looks like something that would be uh, very foreboding. But once you bite into it, it's very sweet, very fruity, somewhat citrusy. 
and uh, it really reminiscent of mango. So it's good. I like it. Very messy though. Till next time. Didn't know you were still there.